Hey guys, this is the Legal Lock Picker, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Mantis from Sparrow's Lock Picks. The Mantis was created by Lock Noob in conjunction with Sparrow's. Uh, Lock Noob has since come up with another tubular tension tool called the Goat Wrench, which you guys are probably more familiar with as it is more recent. Uh, the Goat Wrench was designed to handle tubular locks that don't have uh, a groove in the top of the in the top of the lock itself a brief example to that would be here as you can see there is no there is no tension there's no little square here nothing like that and that's that's what those locks or excuse me that's what the goat wrench is is, is more geared to Whereas this one in particular is geared to something like this. As you can see, it does have that little notch, that little groove right here. So, but wait, legal lock picker, why did you mention law lock tubes, uh, Nessie pick in the title? What does that have to do with the mantis or tubular locks? Well, this is the part of the video where I tell you I was using my Nessie tool uh, after I found out that I could also use the tip of the tool as an awesome way to punch these tubular pins down because it's got like a, a little bit of a rounded edge but it's got enough surface area that if used properly um, it's a great way to to pick these and a great way to do it quickly however um, while I was filming another video of um, of the tool of the law lock tools Nessie item um, due to an unfortunate event I broke the pick and half uh, filming another video it was completely on accident so now I don't have it and so I don't get to show you that video of me using that pick. So I'm down to my uh, last Nessie pick here and I don't want to lose it because it is one of my nicer picks that I've got. Um, eventually I'd like to get the full set of these like the full kit and caboodle and show you guys that. I do not have that right now so this is it and I definitely don't want to break this one. So I'm just going to show you basically how to work this mantis tool and why it was a game changer so I have here a a Dumasi uh, tubular lock it's about as basic and as common as they come um, so this is what we're gonna use uh, they're interestingly enough um, when I was finding tools that would work with the mantis it was I was I was impressed with how well Law Lock Tools Nessie picked work, and if I can show you guys exactly why that is, I will. So I'm just gonna give you guys a uh, just a quick. You can see that the package says "Man, made in Canada," and then the Mantis comes in that nice little package from Sparrows and I'll tell you what um, once I get the other ones eventually down the line I am gonna show you a whole tubular series but as you can see with this uh, Manus tool here uh, I've seen people put them in like this where the groove is and that's how you get your leverage but I've also seen people interestingly enough do it like this and again I guess it's a preference for some people. So what you do is, we're going to take advantage of that notch at the bottom here. If you can see that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, you take it just like this, right? And then once you have it in place, uh, I find that you only really need to use your finger at the top. Because if you can just hit it once, if you can get it to turn just a little bit, and then you take this out and you use their business card idea that Sparrows has on their website and uh, they it's pretty interesting if you haven't already seen it but 
So if you're just using the mantis here, once you get it in place, you take your tool and now, like I said, uh, I'm not going to show you a full tutorial because I don't want to lose this pick. Um, you take it and then you push down each pin likewise, just like that. That's how easy it was, right? So let's take that out real quick just to show you another quick example. So this, the mantis here, right, and you're going to take it, and you're going to put it in here just like so. And you still have complete access to everything. So if you can, you can get your finger up there, and then you take your Nessie pick. Do you see how it has that large surface area, but still small enough to get into locks? So that, and then guess what? You just push down. That's one. Then you push down the next one. That's two. So that's that's it. I mean, that's how that's how business is done. So uh, please feel free to contact me with any questions and comments about the video you see here or any of my videos. Uh, likewise, if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd like to suggest a lock lock picking tool or something you'd like me to review I'll leave my contact information below if you like this video and want to see more of my upcoming videos please subscribe like share them with your friends and family and fellow locksporters don't forget we're all legal lock pickers see you next time